the team conference uh, that uh, I'll be hosting uh, in our province in Southern Africa has come about as a result of a request uh, from practitioners on the ground uh, in the first instance uh, to say uh, how are we doing with HIV and AIDS. Uh, you'll recall that uh, five years ago I convened the first uh, Pan-Anglican African conference uh, to address HIV and AIDS and th at that conference we said that and we pledged ourselves that we'll come back uh, five years uh, hence to review progress and to share what be best practices we have learned so that other parts of the world can learn from us. Basically, we are bringing representatives uh, uh, from around the uh, communion. We have specifically said that each province sends five dele delegates, uh, which will include women and young people, lay people and, and priests. And, and we have indicated that uh, networks from around the communion have been, have been invited uh, there's tremendous excitement about this, as you may gather, around the world and around the communion uh, because it's one area where we'll be coming together under one, under one roof uh, to say, here are Anglicans united in mission to end hunger. Here are Anglicans united in mission to bring hope to the people. Here are Anglicans coming together to say, enough is enough, uh, it's time to act. Words, 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 don't feed the poor. And we believe that together we can set an agenda uh, that will give hope to the marginalized and the poor and, and the people in need. I think most importantly, I think that uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, advantages we have as uh, faith communities is the moral authority. I think Anglicans uh, gather together uh, to focus on MTGs, HIV and AIDS, malaria and TB will give a, a, a moral challenge uh, to governments, to private sector uh, to do more to realize the MTGs.